A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So now the 400 salon is almost complete. It's in like obviously getting it all back together and sanded and prepped. The last thing that I need to get done is getting the decorative mouldings on the ceiling. Now, there's a certain sort of style that I'm wanting, which is taken from the um, smoking room, like gentleman's smoking room that was on the Olympic class liners. And it's quite, quite simple and elegant, but it's gonna be quite complicated to do because it's got some curved pieces in. And I was looking at using polystyrene for the moldings on the ceiling, but I don't know if it's gonna look a bit too, I don't know, cheap. So I've got some wood mouldings and I'm going to look at trying to steam bend them. So I'm going to have to build a DIY steam bender and then build a jig for them and see how that works. Hopefully it'll work out, but I don't know. So first what I need to do is draft the plan of how I'm actually going to want it and how I'm going to sort of make it bit by bit because it's going to be in quite a lot of different pieces. And then I'm going to have to work out exactly where the chandelier is going to go because we've put it in the centre of the mirror and the doorway which is slightly off centre from the centre of the room. So I think we're going to have to change it so it'll be in the actual centre of the room and it won't be in the centre of the doorway and the mirror. So the reason we've done that is when you walked in, if it was slightly off it looked a bit odd. Um, but now so I'm going to do the decorative mouldings. I think it's going to look even worse if we have it off centre with the decorative mouldings. So I've pinched Jonathan's little drawing kit. I'm going to get to work on working it all out, how I'm going to do it, and then go from there, really.
So that's the design sorted and to be honest it's, it is quite simple it's just making sure that all of the lines are going to be lined up right to create the, the design really um, which is going to be difficult in the shadow because none of the walls and ceilings are straight so it's just going to have to do the best I can with what we've got really to try and line it up. So I've got my laser leveller to try and get the centre of the room and I've just got to create the circles to get the lines. Obviously I'm not going to be able to use this because it's going to be a bit small. So I've got one of my wires, this is just an extrusion kit. So it's just a, a wire. I've put a screw on one side with a plaster board plug on so I can get that into the center once I've found it. And then I'll be able to draw the circle with the pencil on the end here. And then to get the different lengths, all I do is just pull it along and it just locks in place. And then if I need it wider, I can put that as well. And it just stays in place. So yeah. I think I'm going to put the scaffolding up in there as well, just so I've got a, a bigger platform to stand on rather than trying to do it on the ladders constantly. Um, once I've got the centre point, I'll probably get all that in and then I can walk around and properly draw it on the ceiling and go from there. So I'll get this upstairs, I'll start measuring up and hopefully get sorted today. <laughs> So 
I've got the bases of the design sorted for the ceiling and it's looking brilliant. It's very impressive to be honest. Um, I'll take you up now so you can get a better idea. So where the wire come for the chandelier, we need to move it slightly over. It's only a few inches so it's not too bad. And where I've put the wire that I've been using to, to actually draw the lines, that's actually got into the main beam, which is good. So we know that that's right in the center now for when we hang the chandelier. So the next thing to do is to start drawing the lines. So I'll show you on my plan what I need to do next and then link it all together. And then at least I've got the bases of it on the ceiling. And then it's just looking at getting the wood cut down and getting it in place, which isn't too bad. But just looking at the size of it, it's going to be so big and impressive it's going to be amazing for the room so i'll see if you can try and pick up some of it now on camera and i'll show you the actual design as well so you can't really see that much of it on the ceiling but obviously we've got this outer ring which is the very end and then we've got the one that's in from it so there's two rings there and then we've got two rings there which go right the way around and on the plan that's to create so I need the two rings to create this and then all I do is join the lines between them so they're just straight lines and then the same with this so I'll just measure whatever distance I want from there same on that side same on the top and then we'll create that design on the ceiling which should be good it's nice and simple but it's really effective and it's going to really stand out in here so that's that I can crack on with the rest of that Rob's still busy in here and you're up with the paneling hi yeah so I'm working in the hallway now and we're sanding and filling cracks and more sanding and more filling <laughs> so it is a long slow process isn't it it but, is yeah. yeah so about 40 gallons later we should be done <laughs> Um, so this is the start of it and I'll move in one direction and keep going. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. But even this one, like this was quite a big crack, wasn't it? Yeah. It had about a half inch crack in there. Yeah. So we filled it, um, padded it behind it and then went ahead and filled it with wood hardener and now I'll go over it with some, uh, um, plaster. Yeah. Just to smooth, smooth it out. Smooth it out and then the paint and primer will take care of that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It should look, it should look quite nice when it's done. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. And all we're doing for the, the big part where it's the big gaps, we're just using the two-part filler, aren't we? Yeah, so the two-part filler uh, yeah. for some of the big cracks there, here, and uh, and then again sanding and plastering. Yeah, plastering. But yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot to do in here, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> 40 gallons of wood hardener. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so. we're getting there. Well, the salon's looking brilliant. Obviously, all of this is pretty much filled, sanded now. Um, so that's why I need to get on with the ceiling. And then we can start looking at getting the stain on and the paint on, can we? Yes, correct, yeah. So yeah. that's just arrived, so that's exciting. Right. We've got the primer and the paint for that. And then it'll be almost sorted. Almost done. Floor and furniture then. Yes, a furniture. A <laughs> <laughs> waste to go yet. But yeah, right, well, I'll crack on with the ceiling and I'll let you crack on in the hallway. Thank you. See you in a bit.
So the ceiling paneling is coming on amazing. I just can't believe how well it's all looking. And I'm so glad that I went with doing the polystyrene rather than the wood. Obviously, wood would have been great to use, but one, obviously, I didn't have the right profile and I'm struggling to find it. Two, it would have been a long process because I would have had to do the steam bending, which I wasn't particularly fussed on. I was going to actually enjoy doing that. But to be honest, this has worked brilliant because the, the profile's got like a little chamfer on each side and then it's got the flat part on the top which I did actually want anyway because then that'll follow the whole design right the way around so as you can see I've done this one corner part for now so we've got the flat edge which runs the whole design now and that's what I actually wanted and it's not too imposing either um, and to be honest when you're down on the bottom it's making the room feel twice the size because we've got this massive detail and on the ceiling it's just, it's made it so much bigger. So all I'm doing is just going along with the um, tack gun, tacking them in so they're holding it into place. And then I think what we're gonna do is looking at covering it in plaster. So just a very, very thin coat of plaster to finish it all off and to make it look um, a, a bit more realistic. Because when you paint polystyrene, it does sometimes still look like polystyrene. So yeah, I'm just so excited. I've been wanting to get it done for quite a while um, and now it's coming together, it's just, it is amazing. So I'm gonna crack on, it's a new day, get our list done, hopefully I can get all these corners done um, and then I can work in the center and then I've only got the outside edge to do and then it's all complete. So I will crack on now. And that's the ceiling done. It looks absolutely amazing. I've even surprised myself with how good it was going to look. I knew it would have been good and it would have worked out well, but to be honest, it's worked out absolutely fantastic. It's been quick and easy as well with me using polystyrene over doing the wood. And so I was looking forward to actually doing the wood bending, to be honest, to see how it was going to go. But the only downside was going to be that I was going to have to cut every um, angle on a miter saw so it would be really time consuming and quite difficult to get every right angle where with the polystyrene I worked out a way where I could put it all up and I could get the perfect angle and then just score it with the Stanley blade and it just cut straight through it so yeah it worked really well and on the plus side it's been really cost effective as well because with me using the polystyrene it's only been about 50 somethings Per piece so all in all this whole ceiling cost less than 40 euro to do with everything that we've got which is just amazing because going with the wood it would have been like three times the price if not even more to be honest so yeah obviously it's something that you could do as well it's so easy 
and cost effective and simple and effective really getting it done I so haven't done anything really difficult to be honest it's literally just bottom polystyrene on the ceiling I've used nail gun because I had it to hand and it was a lot easier so I could adjust any of the points while it was up we can just use stuff like no nails stick it up and it'll stay up there and obviously it's nice and lightweight so it won't affect the ceiling with any extra weight on it so yeah just so pleased with it like I said now this is done I can move on to doing the one in the hallway and get that one done that one won't be quite as elaborate as this one um, because we've got a ceiling rose to go on there so it'll be a lot simpler and just work out from the centre so yeah it is absolutely amazing but definitely try it out yourself obviously just come up with a simple design find the right profile that you want in polystyrene and then go from there really and the results let's see if you can see some of them now are just absolutely amazing to to create a statement piece it really is so we'll crack on now but what i'll do first is i'll quickly show you how i actually cut the polystyrene because it made it so much easier for me while it was up there so if you do plan on doing it then doing this would be far easier for you so this was the design that i see i came up with and you can see it all on the ceiling now how it's all worked out and it looks brilliant but because there was so many cuts on all of these I found the best way to do it so this was the polystyrene trim that I had which you normally just put in a corner so it's just an angle bead but I was using it on the reverse so it gave me this sort of raised edge and then so I was doing a, a corner between two of them so I don't know one of these angles once you've got one piece on, that's following the line. So say we're following that line that we've got on here. Put that one straight over it. And then cutting it, you've got your angle straight across there. So I'll cut that now and you can see what it would be like. So obviously I've got the angle on the first one there and then all you can do is put your Stanley blade next to that, cut along and then you've got the perfect 90 degree joint on it which is brilliant so that's why it's been so quick and easy to do. So yeah like I said quick little tip with it just cutting it far easier doing it that way and like I said you can do it all whilst up on the ceiling as well. I was worried because I was going to have to get the scaffolding up to get it all up but luckily I managed to do it all on the ladders just because it was so quick and easy doing it this way so yeah I'm going to go and get Mum and Ash and the rest of them now to come and have a little look because they haven't seen it see what they think to it so it's been a good week it has I think yes. the ceiling has turned out absolutely amazing and this room's finally coming together with, with Rob's hard work as well and we've got curtains ready to go in here I think we're at a Point at which we'll be painting soon. Yeah, definitely. I think you were all impressed with the ceiling as well, eh? Um, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's something like I still don't understand how you can do it without like sketches and. I've done one sketch, mm -hmm. which yeah. I think is the actual first that I've put something down for you to see and for all you to see. So we have an idea of what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, yeah, it does look good. really good. And we've got some really exciting news this week. What we're going to be doing? We have. So we've been busy creating some sort of like shadow treasures really. Yeah. Um, we're still raising funds for the school. We're just at the 10 grand mark and we're just going to keep going because it's a fantastic thing. So what we're going to do this weekend is we're going to have on Sunday a live auction. Yeah. So we're going to put these on Facebook and Instagram. So you can leave a bid in the comments on each individual picture. And what we'll do is we'll start the auction on Sunday night in the live chat at the highest price yes. that we receive on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously we'll put posts on our Facebook and Instagram page anyway, so do check them out. 
um, and there's going to be five different auction lots. Two of them are some of the original tiles from 1806 from the tower. We've got two sections of the wood panelling from the tower and then we've got one of the original wallpaper from the Grand Salon. So all of these, whatever we make, so I've got the jam from the school, the charity. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we're just going to do an online um, sort of live chat and auction in our Sunday video. Yeah. Just to see what everyone wants. So if you're interested, pop your, you can pop your highest bid in the comments on this video. Or you can go on our Facebook and Instagram page and pop them on each of the posts on there. Yeah. And then once we've got the bids, we'll start it off on Sunday with whatever the highest bids are. Yeah, and the bonuses afterwards, we'll have a live chat with you to answer any other questions that you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be in it. If you'd yeah. like to be. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> if you have questions for us, please. Grill the volunteers. Grill <laughs> <laughs> them. If you don't mean you an airplane ticket, it's got to be with it. <laughs> Patrick's not included in the auction, though, really sorry. No. Couldn't auction you off, could we? <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's obviously a great time and chance to own some of the original pieces from the chateau. Yeah. So obviously I think Rob and I are interested in some of them already. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But for charity we'll yeah. let them go. Yeah. So we'll see how they go. And like we'll make them ourselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed today's video. We're really looking forward to Sunday and we're really looking forward to, to chatting with you live on Sunday. And we will see you in the next one. So if you've liked it please hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications and we'll see you on Sunday night. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.